knowledge. I've got some facts, oh, I've got some knowledge. But after all those years in school, when it comes to love, I'm still a fool. Starting off the intramural season with six straight losses, but uh, you guys played a great first half tonight. Great first half? We're down by 18 points. 18 points? What is that? That's nine baskets. Nine teensy weensy little baskets. <laughs> and let's not forget that Lytton's Lions are the best team in the league. Now, we might be winning if I only had gone to the press instead of the man to man, but I didn't. No, Mr. Gibson, it's my fault. I mean, in the first quarter, if I only made that layup. Yeah, but you missed. <laughs> no, ask you. It's me. If only I hadn't fouled Schmidt so many times, we'd be winning. Yeah, but, but you, you fouled, fouled him. <laughs> it's my fault. If only I hadn't thrown the stupid ball out of bounds. Yeah, but, but you, you did. did. If only, if only, if only. If only you guys tried a little harder, we might actually be winning right now. Who, Friedman? Bringing the room down. <laughs> I'm serious. Albie, let me ask you a question. How many times during the game are you going to bounce the ball off your leg? I don't know. Out of how many chances? <laughs> Freeman, look, when you're on a team, you got to accept the bad with the good. And maybe on this team, there is a little more bad. All right, maybe there's nothing but bad. <laughs> the point is that we're all on the same side. And it's important that we stink together. Well, stick together. <laughs> Yay! Okay. <laughs> Why don't you guys go and get some water and I'll see you back on the court. All right. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right, listen up, lions. My precious lions. <laughs> we already hold an insurmountable lead over Gibson's gazelles. Now, we could do what we usually do and run the score up by 60 points, or we could do the sporting thing and go easy on them. Who am I kidding? Let's run it up. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Lytton. I thought intramurals were about sportsmanship and fun. Really, Mr. Gibson, you must learn not to believe everything you hear on the campus tour. <laughs> Mr. Friedman, I must say I'm a great fan of yours. Your outside jumper and your scoop to the hoop, as it were, remind me of myself out there. Minus the chiseled Nordic features, of course. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't ask you for your autograph. Hey, I can play ball, Mr. Gibson. And the other guys are holding me back, especially Nichols. Oh, hey, come on. Nichols is a good ball player. Yeah? He's not a bad ball player. No? Well, he's courteous. <laughs> Look, and instead of just criticizing Nichols, why don't you try to help him? I mean, nobody's beyond help. I thought we had a chance for a while. But then the second half started. Yeah! We were totally on the match. Yeah, yeah, do check. You were great. Oh, I mean, awful. <laughs> hey, who says winning's everything? Oh, not me. <laughs> hey, just out of curiosity, this is the losing locker room, right? Yep. Hey, Mr. Gibson, we're losers. No, you get a look that works. You're yeah. going with it. <laughs> this is nice. I'm glad humiliation is so agreeable to all of you. Hey, listen, Kennel. None of us enjoy humiliation. Yeah, right. Nichols? Well, you got it, does have its place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's celebrate. Every game we lose by more, and you guys don't seem to care. I mean, the game does have rules. Dubček, 
You can't tackle a guy if he's dribbling. I know. But what if he's shooting? <laughs> Listen, Freeman. I mean, you can blame your teammates, but you haven't helped this team win either. Hey, I averaged 25 points a game. Yeah, but you're a selfish ball player. Every time down the court, you were double teamed. Nichols was wide open, and you still took the shot. Come on, Mr. Gibson. If I shoot, we score. If Nichols shoots, we have to call an injury timeout. <laughs> I mean... I've had it with this team. I quit. Oh, you're overreacting, Friedman. Why would you want to quit? Why? Because I want to win. Because I don't have fun out there. Because playing ball with this team is torture. Can you tackle a guy if he's shooting? <laughs> <laughs> Because after yesterday, things aren't looking so good for our team. We're 0-7, our star player quit, and basically our whole season is a complete washout. <laughs> is it me, or is the art of the pep talk really declining? <laughs> but when things look their worst, you gotta think of something that you're good at. Mr. Dubček, you're an all-star running back. I've seen you crush linemen. I have no doubt that in a couple of years, college coaches are going to be knocking at your door. <laughs> Nichols! Yes, sir? What am I good at, sir? Where does my future lie? <laughs> Ask you! You are a whiz with money, and I know that you will be a boy wonder on Wall Street. Maybe you can hire Nichols. <laughs> sir, what's your point? Well, the point is, is that you guys are winners. And if you put your mind to it, you can win at basketball. Sir, we can't win without Friedman. Well, we couldn't win with him either. We'll just find a replacement. But everybody good is on a team already. I mean, let's face it, sir, our season's over. Teach, you got a second? Now, can't you see I'm in the middle of lifting these boys' spirits? <laughs> uh, word around school is that you are in dire need of a basketball player. Well, actually, I'm in need of four, but uh, one will do for now. Well, what would you say if I told you I know someone? I'd say great. And what would you say if I told you this student could be a star player? I'd say even better. And what would you say if I told you this student's name was Adrian Peterman? I'd say you can show yourself out. <laughs> Mr. Peterman, tell Mr. Gibson what you told me. Basketball was invented in 1862 by Dr. James Naismith of the University of Kansas. Though... Uh, Mr. Peterman, uh, are you really a basketball player? Well, oddly enough, though I find sports rather pedestrian, I was drawn to basketball's fluidity and mathematical perfection. Mr. Peterman, can you put the ball in the hoop? I'm a dead-eye from inside 20. <laughs> well, Mr. Peterman, you are now a gazelle. Our next game is tomorrow night at 7 in the gym. The gym? It's that big round building next to the library. You know, you can actually see into the shower room from the quad. <laughs> Just kidding. Peterman, don't we get a vote? Uh, all right, now I know Peterman may not be anybody's first choice, but we need someone fast. So what do you guys say? I don't believe you guys. Come on, Nichols, we need somebody. Yeah, but Peterman probably stinks at basketball. He's probably worse than I am on court. He's probably so bad he'll make me look good. <laughs> yeah, he's in. <laughs> Mr. Friedman, I knew you couldn't stand to stay away from the gym. Well, I love the game. I know that. I also know you didn't mean to quit. But you can't just walk out on your teammates like that. So what I'm going to do is treat this as a one-game suspension, then you can come back. Well, I appreciate the offer, sir, but no thanks. Well, you'd rather sit out the rest of the season than play? No, I'm going to play. I'm just not playing for you. I'm playing for uh, Linton's Lions. Uh, no, you're not. You're playing for Linton's Loins. <laughs> Miss Litton, 
you had absolutely no right to recruit Friedman for your team. Mr. Gibson, you had the temerity to storm into my office without so much as a hello. As your headmaster, I think I am deserving of more respect. All right. I like your tie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> As for Mr. Friedman, I don't understand the problem. He was a free agent. Mr. Litton, Friedman needs to learn about sportsmanship, about sticking with his team at all costs. Now all he cares about is winning. Yes. <laughs> I can't teach him that lesson, sir, if he's playing for you. So? <laughs> this is like talking to oatmeal. <laughs> Mr. Gibson, let's be brutally honest. Who are the people who really need to learn that winning isn't everything? <laughs> Losers! <laughs> Try explaining that to the rest of your team. Oh, by the way, what I said before? I hope you know I was kidding. Oh, of course. I hate your tie. <laughs> So you guys like winning after all? No, 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 we still like losing. We just can't seem to do it without you. <laughs> Thanks to you, we're in the playoffs. Yeah, if you hadn't quit, we might never have gotten Peterman. <laughs> so, no hard feelings, right? Hard feelings? Nah. I mean, we'd like to mop the floor with your face, but other than that, no hard feelings. <laughs> So, Freeman, where'd you learn to shoot like that? So, huh? Swish! Well, <laughs> as a child, I spent many lonely hours shooting baskets. This may come as a surprise to you guys, but for a while back then, I wasn't very popular. Go on. <laughs> you know, Peterman, I never thought I'd be saying this to you, but... Peterman? What are you doing out there? Are you inviting me into your room, Nichols? <laughs> Yes, I'm inviting you into my room, Peterman. No one's ever invited me into their room before. I must savor this moment. I feel reckless, almost giddy with anticipation. So, what happens now? Lots of times we sit around and talk about what a dweeb you are. But I guess that wouldn't be as much fun with you here. Or would it? Dude, you're supposed to think before you speak. I don't have that kind of time. So, this camaraderie's conditional. You only like me as long as I'm shooting a ball through the hoop. Hey, hey, you can learn a lot about a guy playing basketball with him. Yeah, like Friedman. I mean, look what we learned about him. That he cared more about winning than he did about us. Well, I care more about winning than I do about you guys. Yeah, but with you... Who cares? <laughs> Three short weeks ago, Lytton's Lions stood alone on the mountain top, the undisputed leaders of the intramural basketball league. That's no longer the case. Our shoddy play has forced us to face the gross indignity of a playoff with Gibson's gazelles. <laughs> In such a situation, any good coach must take the blame. However, I am not a good coach. <laughs> I'm a great coach. <laughs> so I am forced to conclude that the blame lies elsewhere. Mr. Friedman, have a seat. Mr. Friedman, do you see this ball? Yeah. Well, tell me, did you pay for it? Is your name on it? Did somebody leave it to you in their will? No. Well, then why do you behave on the basketball court as if this ball belonged only to you? Now, watch closely, Mr. Friedman. This is what is known as passing the ball. Apparently, it's a foreign concept to you. Before you came along, this team functioned like a well-oiled piece of machinery, and you are the monkey wrench. <laughs> Isn't that right, Schmidt? Doyle? Barzini? Zell? Mr. Lytton, are you saying that I'm the reason the team is losing? No, I'm not saying that. I am implying it strongly, but I'm not saying it. <laughs> but, sir, you recruited me. I could have gone to play with Mr. Gibson's team. That bunch of losers. Yeah, okay, but at least then I would have been with my friends. Not that you guys haven't been a hoot and a half. 
Mr. Friedman, let's keep this simple, shall we? It has come to my attention that you have an injury. No, I don't. Oh, yes, you do. And this injury, whatever it is, is so severe that it keeps you from playing any longer for Lytton's Lions. And we are all so sorry. Hey, guys, come on. I could use a little support here. I wasn't that bad, was I? I mean, you have to admit, I can shoot. <laughs> okay. I'll pass more. How about it? Come on, Zell, help me out. I always liked you. This one is Zell. <laughs> Friedman, uh, you heard the man, gazelles only. <laughs> uh, that's the last minute strategy I wanted to discuss. Uh, Friedman wants back on the team. Okay, I'd just like to say something here. <clears throat> <laughs> the only reason you want to play with us now is because we're winning. That's not true. That's true. You know what you are? You're an opportunist. Oh, and you're not? Yes, I am. <laughs> Look, guys, come on. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I should have never played for Litton's team. I don't belong there. Oh, so he kicked you off. Details. <laughs> Just think about it. Me and Peterman, two strong shooters. I know the Lions it would give us an edge. Yeah, but can you be a team player? If I had a team. All right, let's take a boat. All those in favor of having Freeman back on the team, raise your hands. That's a bad sign. <laughs> Extensions? <laughs> Very bad sign. <laughs> Opposed? Yeah. Okay, fine, if that's the way you guys want it. I just want you to know one more thing. I hope you win. Yeah, we just did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Isn't this what Freeman did to you? No, sir, this is different. <laughs> well, how's it different? We're doing a 10. <laughs> I mean, come on, sir, it's only fair. I mean, Freeman can't be trusted. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> can't trust the guy. Nope. nope. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't even know what I was thinking, you know? I mean, the guy's a menace. I mean, who knows when he's gonna strike next? Betrayal is inevitable. And what can you do? Sleep with your eyes open? Uh-uh. It's better just to get rid of him, write him off, flush him. Sir, I mean, come on. It's not like he sold out his country or anything. Oh, oh, no, but it's worse. You see, boys? This is where it starts. And this is where it has to be stopped. Mr. Gibson, no! no. <laughs> see? <laughs> I, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I don't know. I don't know how this passed me by. Oh, once again, it's teacher learns from the students, and I thank you. And I'm just standing here doing nothing. Nothing. I got an idea. Let's shred his clothes. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. No, better yet. Better yet. I know. We'll, we'll torch his bed. Yeah. We'll torch his bed. <laughs> we'll destroy everything the guy owns. <laughs> no. As a matter of fact, we'll start right here. Mr. Dubchek, this way. Let's get Friedman's desk out of here. Why? Why? Because it's Friedman's desk. And I don't want this in my class. In fact, I don't want Friedman in the school. As a matter of fact, you want to know something? I don't want him in the country. You know what we should do? I got a great idea. Let's have him deported to Yugoslavia. No! It's only a basketball game, an intramural basketball game. Friedman's our friend. Why are you getting so crazy? Well, why did you get so crazy? Okay. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. I understand why well, you guys got angry with Friedman. I was too. <laughs> but I think he's learned his lesson and uh, he wants to be your friend again. So, uh, what's the answer? All those in favor, raise your hands. <laughs> Mr. Dubchek? I would like to be Friedman's friend again, sir. But not if it means I have to go to Yugoslavia. <laughs> What is this? Such downcast faces, such sad expressions. 
You boys are taking this defeat much too hard, really. You look as though somebody had sucked the joy right out of your lives. How can I make it better? Here, would you like to touch the trophy? <laughs> That's close enough. <laughs> Hey, Linton's right. We are taking this too hard. I mean, come on, let's look on the bright side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, even though we lost, we played a great game. And I, for one, will never forget the moment when down by two points with 30 seconds left to play, my good friend here, Kenny Friedman, gets the ball, the most important play of the game. And what does he do, gentlemen? I ask you, what does this man do? He passes the ball to me. <laughs> what are you, nuts? <laughs> I learned how to be a team player. Yeah, we thought you were kidding. I told you we never should have let him back on the team. I would have never passed the ball to you, Nichols. Oh, yeah, why not? I was open. So what? You're always open. Oh, that's whoa, 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 Peterman, don't talk to him like that. Or any of them, okay? They may not be the greatest basketball players in the world, but they're my friends. Oh, break out the handkerchiefs. You saved your precious friendship. Meanwhile, you've dragged me down into the muck and mire of mediocrity. Well, let me tell you something about Adrian Peterman. Adrian Peterman does not compromise. Adrian Peterman does not settle for second place. And Adrian Peterman never should have joined this stupid team in the first place. I assume this outburst won't affect my grade. Well, it was a tough game, but I hope you guys realize something that Peterman doesn't. That parting your hair in the middle is really fruity? <laughs> no. This game wasn't about basketball. It was about friendship. And you guys are the real winners. Great! Do we get a trophy? <laughs> no. You get Friedman. What else? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I heard that.